Hello and welcome to another update video about Dot. Yeah, Dot seems to be following the projection already a few days ago, a couple of days ago, I indicated to you that we might have started here wave two. It pushed a little higher, but I only count that as a high B wave with wave C now in the making. Now, what you need to understand is that if a B wave is high, the C wave can be shallow. There is no need to go below the low of the A wave. In most cases, it would still do that. And I would like to see a move into the yellow area. Um, ideally, I'd like to see a move to $3.97, $3.87, maybe a retest of the descending trend line here and then for the price to move. But certainly um, DOT is interesting because DOT completed a downside pattern. Downside structure was complete. We could count all the moves down complete, it reached our ideal target and reached long-term support at $3.60. Now it could form either an inverse head and shoulders that you can see here on the chart um, where we had a left shoulder, a head and the right shoulder, but it would need to take some time to do that to get a nice proportional view. Well, that doesn't mean it needs that inverse head and shoulders for a breakout, but if we see an inverse head and shoulders um, pattern evolve, then I point it out. So it could mean that it takes a little bit more time to consolidate below resistance before a breakout. Um, that would actually, I think I would prefer that instead of just a quick rally, but who, you know, we'll see. At least it would point towards the possible continuation to the, or reversal to the upside after a long downtrend, you could say. Now it doesn't need a head and shoulders pattern to break out. It would be enough to hold the $3.73 level as indicated on the chart as crucial support in our support box there between $4.07 and $3.73. As long as the price holds $3.73, the potential for a third wave rally is definitely there and is a reasonable expectation. Still a very young trend, still very early, but we've made the first higher highs. Now, if it can form a higher low in the first deeper pullback, there would be first additional evidence that um, a larger rally is starting. And um, we would like to see a break above the $4.42 level for additional confirmation that the third wave here is unfolding to the upside. Can't really give you a target yet for the third wave. Um, that's the problem because we haven't got a low in place. But if I just make an assumption and just assume we might come down to $3.97, that's of course um, very speculative. Then I would like to see at least, at least the $4.91 level better $5.17, okay? And even better $5.60. But these are sort of the levels that we would then have to expect in a third wave. And um, the microstructure isn't very clear. I would count that as an impulse and cannot rule out that this is forming a diagonal. So um, therefore I'm highlighting $4.91, but as I said, better would be $5.17 and the higher, the better really. Um, not too high because then you get too much of an extension and it gets overheated, but that's just so to get to give you an idea, a rough idea. So yeah, watch for a uh, potential reaction to the relevant support levels. Key breakout point to the upside is here. I mean, the B wave high and the wave one high. $4.46 and $4.42. And then overall, if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that the dot chart is moving in a descending price channel, a corrective price channel, um, characterized here by the dashed trend line. So a break above the upper boundary line would give further evidence that wave three is unfolding. That's my update about dot. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.